journey to Bornholm. Driving to Orison Bridge in Malmo to Estelle, Sweden to ride a ferry to Bornholm. We had a little afternoon break at Ustel, Sweden. We also enjoyed a walk at Ustel Town. Finally, we took a ride going to go home through a ferry called Katmaran. <laughs> Around some minutes, we can already see the beautiful island of Bornholm. Welcome to Gulliam Ferry Park. It has a swimming pool and ideal for family staycation. With a living and dining room, a kitchen and a bathroom, and two rooms upstairs with an attic view. Time to rest. That was our day one. What a beautiful morning to start our day two strolling around Gulliam. Exploring Gulliam Mule. Ja, ja, oppe, og nu har jeg ikke klar for i hovedet. Ja, I kommer ikke ned igen. Det må I komme selv. Det må I klare selv. Photo taking at Guriam Klipperne. Watching the arrival of Ertholm boat. And now it's our turn to sail from Gulliam to Christian Suit.
Everybody see Christian suit. Yay, my first time walking at Christian suit. So exciting. Picture perfect. For that, you like. The table is torn. No, they have no K tag. Someday. Oh wow, Smela. And that made our day two. Our day three started by sailing to Helidom's Klippen or the Holy Rocks. Det den hedder Rognesgåde, den er omkranset den klippe, der ligger i midten med et par små træer på. Den bliver kaldt for Røverborg. Foran os, der har vi den våde arven. Den kan man så kun komme til her fra søsiden. Den er 16 meter dyb. <laughs> so flat. Finally arriving at Helidom's Clippen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think she's taking the horizon. Take the horizon. Many tourists also are there to explore these divine rocks. And now we're heading to the forest, going back to Gulliam. Beautiful autumn leaves 
waterfalls and sounds of nature await you here. I couldn't help myself collecting these different colored leaves from the forest. In the afternoon, we visited the famous Ustelas Kirke. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you can shoot from there, I think. Give a dare for. And before our day three ends, we visited a shop of a popular Danish candy called Bolsheret. There's some fisk. Day 4. Early walk at the snowy white sand beach of Dewey Ode on a windy morning. The other day we were rocks. We were, we were rock rocks. 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 Then we proceed to find this rookestein or the moving rock. We bought some souvenirs at Dewey's Leia at Dewey Order. In the afternoon, it started to be more windy with big waves in the ocean. But it didn't stop us from visiting the famous Hammershoes ruin.
This is one of the places from a Danish film entitled Fa Til Fia. We also came to see Echo Dalen where you can shout and make an echo. <laughs> On this rock you can find the name of Johannes V. Andersen who fell down and died in 1947. Mösselöken, Steinbrühl, and Steinbrühl's Museum is where they manufacture rocks. And on our way back to Gullian, stormy weather surprised us. This made our day 5 more relaxed, only at Gullian Ferry Park and enjoy the ice cream. By day 6, it was still the same weather and it ended us up to church hauntings. Ulska Kirke By this time, we were supposed to go home, but our ferry was delayed for 9 hours. But anyways, no regrets. Nuka Kirke <laughs> oh, Kirke B. Kirke. Climbing up the router connecting. That's why I said, Seeing the glass shop with an actual glass making. And we drove back to nature. And spent our remaining hours at the other side of Ecodalen Park. I see my hair just a moment. <laughs> just simply enjoying a fun walk with Eric and his family. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so flat. This is the one in my wallpaper. And finally going back home to Germany. Thousand thanks to Eric and his family for making our journeys toward home possible. Thank you so much. <laughs>